Hello everyone, my name is Thomas and you are on my Lerrycraft channel. If you are interested in Lerrycrafting, please consider subscribing. Today I am going to share a quick tip on how to perfectly match stitching holes on your craft. What do I mean by that? For example, if you start punching holes where the stitch starts, going around and then realize that at the end your last hole doesn't land where it is supposed to be because your pricking iron step doesn't match perfectly with length of stitch to distribute holes evenly. Or you have multiple layers on craft and don't want holes to land on the edge of upper layer. This is what I'm doing to avoid this problem in all of my craft. And it doesn't matter what your pricking iron step size is. First of all, I'm marking stitching holes with pricking iron. Do not punch straight away. I'm starting from these crucial points such as pockets and overlaying clear parts. Then I'm going around and checking out if holes match these crucial points. If it does, then cool, nothing to do, just punch your holes. But if not, then I need to adjust to match it. So I'm starting from the beginning and with slight tension backward remarking holes. And these new marks are going very slightly back and finally it land on the final hole I need. Actually, if there is a tiny gap between the last two holes, you can put tension forward instead of backward. But I personally prefer always to go backward. The longer distance between these two crucial points, the easier to do that. As well as with a smaller step size pricking irons. You may think that the stitch step isn't perfectly even. It might be, but I guarantee you won't recognize it as it's very small correction in parts of millimeter over part of stitching. After I marked and it matched in the way I want, I'm punching these marks with pricking currents, but not through. And after, if you saw my previous videos, finishing punching holes with these pliers.
But if you use just pricking irons for punching holes, just punch it through these marks. It's the tip I wish I knew when I started letter crafting, so I hope it helps to elevate the quality of your stitch. I have made a couple more videos about stitching tips, so you can check it. Also, please leave comments on what topics you would like to see on my channel in future. If you find these types of video helpful, please consider supporting me by joining channel members, buying PDF templates as one-time donations, ordering crafts, or at least please press the like button to help spread my videos across YouTube. That's it from me today, thanks for watching guys and see you next time, bye!